Even on the approach to Ufa, we could see dark dots circling above the ruins. We got to the army base quickly. We hadn't gotten inside when Kyugo pointed out that the roof of the base, his face white as a sheet. A bee of nightmare proportions was hovering above it. The mutant insect sighted us and dived towards us. Alright, so we are back with our post-apocalyptic Russian adventure here in Day Our Survival. Before we get underway, we have plenty, plenty of new things to play around with here today. Number one, I did upgrade the vehicle off camera, I got myself to mechanics level 11. We have our first diesel fueled vehicle here. The Zill 130, it could carry tons and tons, as a matter of fact, it could carry up to 15 tons. We also have the handmade rocket launcher unlocked, and people have told me, Falcon, you're gonna want a couple of these, especially for some of the tougher fights, so... Um, we can't make it until we get find ourselves a workbench, so we're gonna find one of those pretty soon, get one of those up and running. Before we continue, though, we have a couple of things we need to do. Um, we are still going over to Ufa, towards B mutant territory, because that's where we gotta go for the Way Back Home quest. However, along the way, there's a couple of, um, side quests I'm gonna probably undertake and just get rid of because they're on the way back over there to our base. So, for instance, right now in... We have to steal, I guess, five chickens from the Tiwaman base. Well, we're here right now. It should be this one right here, right? I think so. That's alright. I mean, I haven't... I played this, like, three days ago to kind of get ready for the recording. So I haven't played since then. But I think I left myself ready for this. So let's come in here, survivor base, and see about stealing chickens. This town of refugees that sprung up near time, and yep, that's the one. Become a tasty morsel for the gangs in the area. The locals don't have many weapons, but they fiercely defend what little they manage to cultivate in the barren soil. Another irritant in the chronic electricity shortage. So let's look around and talk to the locals. I didn't learn anything useful from the local gossips. Every conversation came back around to the same burning topic. Victor, the security chief, had started flirting with Elvira, the camp leader. The busybody stubbornly refused to let the conversation be steered to another topic, so I left with nothing. Yo, man, I'm here to steal chickens, not here about gossip about Elvira. By the way, Elvira the Witch, back in the day? Oh! Oh! Forget about it. Um, let's go to Victor, I guess. <clears throat> hey, my name is Victor. I'm Chief Security Officer. You must have already met Elvira. What an amazing woman, right? Yeah, well. So, what was I talking about? And obviously not your town, not your base. You're too obsessed with Elvira. You're putting it on a pedestal, my boy. Oh yes, listen to me. There's a bandit camp near here. They're armed and totally crazy. So fighting them in the open always results in a lot of casualties. We are tired of getting raided by these savages. So we have to take extreme measures. I want somebody to find a way into their camp and poison their drinking water. Find the lilac mushrooms for making poison. Then go to the bandit's camp. Find a tank with drinking water and throw the poison into it. What do you think? Can you do this? You want me to just go poison somebody's water supply? Jeez, it's crazy. Thank you, man. It's not easy, I understand, but our guys never went so far into the wasteland, and you're an experienced traveler. Well, would this let me get the chickens, like, by killing people? <laughs> Kill an entire camp of bandits to get a couple of chickens. Go to the hen house. The hen house was in a spacious wooden barn. The building itself was old and on its last legs, but when I got closer, I noticed that the walls had been reinforced with new boards. The sharp, unmistakable smell immediately gave away the barn's purpose. Go into the hen house. Oh, I just stole him like that. So your quest is completely different from the stealing things. Well, at least nobody... I covered my face and there was no sign of any guards. So I got him, I can just leave now? This is like the easiest theft of all time. Which is funny because they're trying to stave off bandits by killing them and I'm over here just walking in, stealing and walking out if I want to. Alrighty, well, do we want to do your mission? I guess. Did you find the mushrooms? Oh, I actually have mushrooms, do I? Oh, sweet! I was messing around with some recipes the other day to see if I could make some new meals and I needed mushrooms, so... <laughs> I guess I had mushrooms already awesome. So I have the poison. Where am I going? Bandit base. To Shradinsk. It's not too far, technically speaking. Alright. So go there and poison the, the area. And what about for the chick? He's not a have him. Where's that going back to? Back to Omsk. Oof, that's kind of a long walk, or at least a long drive. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to be delivering those chickens anytime soon. You know what? We'll deliver the chickens when we have to go back to 
wherever it is for the way back home quest, because we have to probably come back here anyway. So we'll deliver them later. For now, let's go over and poison the area and then get some rewards and then continue on, because we're going over to Ufa, which is to the west anyway. Now, one thing I have noticed, and I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't notice beforehand, before I made it, diesel does seem to burn a lot faster than regular gasoline. Let's stop before... Don't, don't go into it just yet. Stop beforehand. So... I still have a lot of gasoline. Here's a question I want to tell you guys, or ask you guys, since you guys are like the pros over here. Or at least the ones that are pros. Is it in my best interest to, once maybe I build my base, at my base to have a diesel vehicle and a regular gasoline vehicle as well? Because there's still a lot more gasoline in the world right now than there is diesel, it does seem anyway. I find more gasoline than diesel. So would it be in my best interest to like only have the diesel one for like the really big... I need to carry a bunch of crap quest and then just roll around in a regular gasoline car because I still have a lot of gasoline as you can see right now and I've noticed that diesel burns really quickly so if you guys think it's a good idea to have two different vehicles one diesel one gasoline let me know and I might do that because uh, yeah it does seem to burn quite quickly through it let's save here because if I have to fight then I'm gonna make sure that I don't have to die and restart again so all right well, you're in my predator gear yes we are let's go in Photo album. No, we're not doing photo album. We're doing sabotage. Get get out of there. I threw poison into the water tank. I have to tell Victor about this. That was it? Why were you so worried then? Oh, I thought we had to do something. Oh, but we could do a, a fight here. This is the base that ran me off a long time ago, isn't it? Maybe? Well, I'm not sure, but we could get potatoes and moonshine out of here, too. Yeah, let it let you know what? Screw it. Not only did we poison him, we're gonna kill him too. Can we auto battle out of this one? Yes, we can! Do I want to use that to auto battle? Absolutely. Ha <laughs> ha, your boy is a strong boy now. And imagine when I get the rocket launcher too, I'll even be a stronger boy. Running around with my predator outfit in the wasteland with a rocket launcher. Speaking of rocket launchers, I'm, I'm playing um, Life After, which is another mobile game which is surprisingly really, really good. And this freaking zombie. I guess it's not really a zombie, they're like mutant zombies or whatever, but he pops up out of nowhere to freaking rocket launcher like he's freaking nemesis. Just reminded me of that right now, just all these rocket launchers in these freaking mobile games. Alright, is there something I need moonshine for, like a trade thing or something? I'm not gonna use it, but um, if I should save it for something, let me know. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I tried being cute just now. I dropped everything on the floor, even the vehicle, and I was like, what if I just walk back and tell them that I, uh, I poisoned what I had to poison? And I tried doing that, dude, he was he was walking in the map like a freaking snail. Like there was no progress, I'm like staring at it and he's just like walking and walking. It's like he was just walking in place and I was like, yeah! I think it'll probably take me like 10 literal in-game, or at least real time minutes to get there by walking and back. So now nah, I, I might as well just burn through the diesel. So yeah, don't try to walk 170 something kilometers once you're beyond the start of the game. It's not going to go too well. Alright, so I got Victor, I got what I needed to do. Well, you know, I've already killed all the bandits. Oh, I... Oh. That's right, I killed them too. I poisoned their water. I've killed all of them. Well, I, I guys guess we'll go with the first one. Oh man, you have no idea how important this is for us. Thank you so much. Plus, please rest in our camp. So... You could either poison them or kill them, as I did. I mean, I did both of them, so I, I, I committed like genocide on those bandits, really. Poison him and then gets killed off what's left over. Alrighty, well we got our rewards, which is more caps, which is fine. That was it, huh? Is it worth it the entire diesel we just burned just to do that? Not really, but whatever. Alright, that's done. So now with this done, I believe we are now going straight over to Ufa. So chickens, we would do that later. Photo album, way, way later. Oh yeah, I got this pump too. Where does that go? I found the pump, I forgot where I found it, but uh... That's way, way down there. I'm not going to go down there right now. That's way too much. Radio. Still have to do that one. And German. Is Anna still with me? <laughs> Am I still carrying her around? I don't know where I got Anna from, but... Uh, either way, whatever. Let's just go back towards um, our main quest now, which is way back home. And we are going... Oh, we're not too far from it, thankfully. They got tape, though. Let's, yeah, let's do it. We should just all be able to auto battle it, right? Oh, yeah. Three gr- Ah, oh, again with the grenades. Can I escape? Yes, I can. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Drop the grenades. 
I don't I don't like to use the grenades. Like they I, I like to use them when I actually manually do combat, but for auto combat I don't like them at all. Like use these instead, dude. I only got six of them left too. That's a shame. How about now? Auto battle. That's better, yeah. Use the, the sniping bullets. I have plenty of those. Perfect. Got that. And hopefully you guys had some more AK ammo on you. That'd be very useful. But apparently you did not. You just had garbage on you. And that's the way I wanted to use apparently grenades on these garbage fights. Come on, man. And see who I need to talk to. Kugel's apartment. I think that's where we had to go. Libya Kugel. That's, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's one mug on that lady right there. She is pissed off. The Kugels lived on the first floor of the five-story block. A very stout woman opened the door to me. She had a fierce expression on her face. Back again? Get out of here, you damn drunk. We've had enough. For the last time, I'm telling you he's not going anywhere. Wait, you got me confused with somebody else. I'm here to see your husband. I know why you're here, to get drunk and roar and shout, that's what you're here for, so are you going to leave or do you need any help? I can't do it, I'll help you. A much smaller man peers out from behind the large woman. <laughs> he has an intelligent but care-worn face. Uh, Libya, hold on, I don't know him, he's not from our settlement. Oh now I believe it, he doesn't know you either, do you take me for a fool again? Libya Kugel gave her husband a sharp slap. <laughs> Well, I guess we know where's the uh, pants in his family. Hey, don't hit him. He's telling the truth. I'm here on business. I need help. Help? What good is he to anyone, the drunkard? None at all. He just sits in the house. Spirit Don, get back to the kitchen. <laughs> Did she just tell him to get back to the kitchen? That's hilarious. We got like entire role reversal thing here happening. I mean, if we're going by stereotypes, right? What do you mean? W what good am I? The country always needs good engineers. I even have a certificate of thanks from the regional party committee. The wife slaps her husband again hard enough to make him cry out. There's your thanks and you can screw off, you bastard, you swine. He ruined my whole life. I gave him the best years of my life. My mother was right. God rest her soul. I should have married Pitch Pitchkin. Then maybe you would have drunk yourself to death. Liuba slammed the door, shutting herself in the kitchen. Spirit on Kugel frowned at me. Uh, she's been on edge since this morning for some reason. You know what? Tell our guys that I won't be coming out today. I can't. You can see for yourself. I will tomorrow for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. I really do need your help. I need to find and assemble something in Ufa. Well, I just thought you reminded me of an old pal of mine. W wait a minute. What did you just say? Ufa? It's full of bees! Oh no, not the bees! No way, I'm not car carting myself off to Ufa. I still want to live. Go find another dummy. And where will I find another army engineer? Well, forgive me, my Lubia, she's no ray of sunshine, but there's only one of her, and there's plenty of bees. I won't be going to Ufa, no damn way. And if I get you some vodka, the real stuff from a distillery? Manipulate pity, look like Boris was right, you're getting old. I got vodka. Sure. Hugo moistened his lips and made a smacking sound. From a distillery? That's the good stuff. Our homemade vodka isn't up to snuff. Alright, now you're talking. Three bottles. That's the deal. In the meantime, I need to work some, something out. Okay, three bottles. I already got him, right? Maybe? Sure. I said I got him. Am I done here? I persuaded Kugel, the engineer, to travel with me to Ufa and help me with the missile system, but I'd better make preparations before setting out. Checking my weapons and armor in case... Okay, the bees, yeah. Okay. Um, alright, cool. So he's... he's... here, right? Maybe in quest? Yeah, you see, I do have an. I told you guys. And I, I forgot where I have to take you, so I'm sorry, you're traveling with us for a while. And here's this boy. Okay. So, that part is done. Um, before we jump right to Ufa, let's go down to the old basey base and see about putting some stuff away. Preferably this potatoes. See if that's longer that way. Camp. And save it up. Alright. So, heavy building time. Let's go to designs here. First things first, uh, rocket launcher for a fact. Although, wait, what do we have here? We have the workbench, we have the cellar. So let's dump the potatoes here first, so they last a very long time. And we might as well just dump the salted meat here for a very long time. Does it tell me here how long it lasts? Yes, three months now, very good. And then you went from like 12 days to two months, yeah. So it does definitely exponentiate the amount of time. Oh, I left the uh, meat over here as well. 
Ah, you can stay here. I don't really need you at the moment, but that's cool. Um, so you could definitely conserve things here for a bit. Um, anything else is going to expire on me? No, everything else that I have is not expirable. Perfect. For the house, I need 10,000 wood, which is fairly easy. Just go to a wood somewhere, chop it down. I need a thousand glue and tape. Mmm. That's going to be the part. Essentially, what I have to do is, um, kill animals off camera for a while and turn their bones into glue. I could do the well that requires a hundred and silly tape. Do I really, is the well really important, do you guys think? I mean, you draw dirty water from it, so I would still have to run it through here. But when you think about it, I mean, I got a water source right there. So why even, why need the well if I could get water from here? And purifying it, I mean, get the charcoal tablets too, right? I don't know, let me know if you think the water well and purifier is important. If not, I think I'm going to skip that. And to make the brick, oven brick, you need the house first. But I do have everything for the bricks ready. Alright, so you know what we do? Skip it, we'll just make the rocket launcher and move on to Ufa. Scrap, got it. Iron pipe, one, I have 20. Firewood, got it. And yeah, we got everything to make it. How much fuel or insulating tape do you need? 20? Eh, I figured as much. Make it happen. Alright, so lock, rocket launcher time is here. And now for the rocket itself. Wait, 1.2? I ah, don't even matter, considering we have our crazy ass vehicle. So, this does require plastic explosives. I took some time off camera to make some plastic explosives already, so... I have 14 of them, which means we can make 14 rockets right now. Uh, so, I mean, assuming do we have enough to make 14? Do I want to make 14? We need primers to do that. Scrap, iron pipe. I have 19, so that's still fine. And it requires five tape for each one. Oh, it requires five wire. Mm. Don't have enough wire, and I need I need a blacksmith area to make that happen, don't I? I guess the other thing I should do is probably build a forge here. Oh, I could build a forge. Oh. Scrap a thousand, firewood, cement, iron pipe. I could build one here. Yeah, this is actually very... Yeah, okay. Make myself a forge. We can make wire here now. Kindle it. Make a little bit of wire. I'm thinking like at least... How many rockets do you think we should carry? Like 10? I guess we could only make 9. Whatever. Not exactly 10, but close enough. So, make me 5. And then we just manually make everything else here. Okay. Now, this should make the fights with the bees a lot easier. Might even just be able to like auto-battle through them. We have the armor for it. Speaking of the armor, we should also make sure... My armor's in tip-top shape. All right. Yeah, we're ready for it. So, I was roughly at six-something when we left off. And we're arriving here at 5.30ish. So, at least a hundred... A, a little bit over a hundred liters just to make it from my base over to Ufa alone. That is a lot of diesel burned. So, yeah. Um, I didn't stop anywhere else, obviously. I'll probably just do that off camera. But yeah, I'm thinking we should get a gasoline vehicle too, because, oof. The diesel is burning really quickly. Alright, so, this is where I hunted the bees last time. Where exactly are we going? Is it that green marker right there? Military armory. Oh, it's in there for a fact. I'm still curious about what goes on in here. Like, if this is, like, optional or not. This entire queen beehive. All right, let's see here. Travel through here. Road, there we go. Let me get that diesel. I'm hoping this could be like diesel country just because it's an Ufa, so... The developers are like, you know, if you want diesel, you better go through the hardest part of the game, which is probably here. I mean, is there a more difficult area in this game than like the bees? Is like the bee like the most difficult enemy? Oh, here they are. <laughs> You're recalling us, Falcon. Not quite. Can we auto battle? Yes, we can. To kill the bees in auto battle, it will be three rockets each. Luckily, we can't escape from this one, so we shall. Okay. Um, here's what I'll tell you guys. We're not spending too much time in here. We're not spending too much time in here. I actually do want to fight a fight manually with the bees. Now that I have the rocket launcher. I want to see how the rocket launcher works in combat when you do it yourself. So, I will give it a try before we wrap up. Let me handle the save here. Yeah. I'll, I'll do for Diesel afterwards, because we're almost out of time with this video anyway, but I still want to get this part of the quest done. So the armory... Oh, in the military camp. Go straight to it then. But we are doing a fight manually. 
Even on the approach to Ufa, we could see dark dots circling above the ruins. We got to the army base quickly. We hadn't gotten inside when Kyogo pointed out that the roof of the base, his face white as a sheet. A bee of nightmare proportions was hovering above it. The mutant insect sighted us and dived towards us. So you still gotta do a battle. Luckily, they only give you have you fight one, which is a lot easier than fighting like three or two at a time when you're doing random stuff out there. So one is very easy. Assuming, oh, you know what? This is the one that spits at you, which is like the easiest one. So yeah, this is the one we'll do. Um, although I don't feel like we should be using a rocket launcher on this one. It seems like overkill for the easiest B, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the regular stuff. Um, let's take out the DP whatever for a spin. It uses the same ammunition as my sniper rifle. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, take the sniper rifle, take that, we have one more weapon of use. Uh, let me toss a couple of nadies at this boy here too. I haven't found out, I haven't checked what level my wolf is now. Um, so 100 and 200. More than likely this boy could traverse anything because he flies, so... Uh, he's gonna spit too, right? Let me move up here, and maybe next turn we could either get into the watchtower or get some defense through here. And then 200. This is not Pierce um, armor, unfortunately. So, let's just do this to reduce the armor. You see how easy this boy is? Like, one of them is not no problem at all. As a matter of fact... Oh, man. Had I probably stayed here, I could have probably killed him and won the first turn. Because this, if I launch it right now, it could almost do enough HP, but since I have to hit this over here, it'll be just like the radius effect. It won't land on him to do the full damage. We could have easily killed this guy in one turn. So I'll just save it. I just come back. That's fine. You're technically dead. This takes 10 bullets. Ooh. 10 sniper shots, huh? Well, whatever. This guy's dead here. Yeah, probably best not to use a rocket in his one, dude. He's actually fairly easy. Oh! Oh! Yo, what the hell is this? This is like freaking... We found Metal Gear Rex? Search it out. I'm gonna go through that body too for that kitten. Believe me, my boy. Alright, take that. Don't eat you. Take that, take that. Open up. What do we get? SVT has 40 ads. Garble compared to what we got. And... Do we assemble it here? I think we should probably leave the area first, should we not? Yeah. I'll pick it up. Oh, I, I can't pick it up. Okay. I mean, I'm trying not to get ambushed here. While the engineer tinkered with the unit, we were attacked by another critter. We need to finish up here and get out of the Ufa before we draw the attention of the whole hive. I'll have to take Hugo home first. What's happening? Take a look. Beautiful, right? The tripod's a bit defective, so you need to put a brick under it. The coordinator veers off center, but that's a design flaw. Every congenit had the same problem, and it doesn't really sit tight in the grooves. You need to hold it gently. And another thing. Thank you, really helped me out. I don't work for thanks. Bring me the vodka. Here, three bottles as promised. Thank you. Top quality stuff. I'll be able to treat the boys tomorrow. Just be a pal, don't say anything to in front of my wife. My sweetheart has some right hook. Who'd have thunk it? She has a right hook? Yeah. She beats you all the time, apparently. And she used to be sweet as a lamb. Eh, those were the days. Alright, alright, I won't say anything to her. You don't need to bring me back. I spotted a motorcycle in the garage, almost new, in a limited series. I'll get home much faster on that. I took a few things so now even the bees won't catch me. See you around. Man, the ball's in this guy. He could either roll with me, who I am like, I'm built like a military by myself, but he's gonna go by himself, alright. Well, at least it saves me a trip, so I'm happy about that. I'm already here running unlimited fuel, um, diesel. And let's go ahead. You know what? I'll butcher you outside. I don't want to get attacked here. Actually, no, I don't really mind if we get attacked. Just because I do want to rocket a boy before wrap up, so butcher it up. Although we should probably say it beforehand. I should have probably said it beforehand. Oh, it's three of them. Falcon, you fool. Oh, Falcon, you fool. And it's two of the, the, da the dangerous guys that slice you up. Oh, really? That's all it requires for this fight? Why is he using, like, the, the terrible snipe? Okay, sure, go ahead. Yeah, that's an easy fight. I thought it would require- it didn't require rockets? That's surprising. Ah, uh, yeah, look, look. Let's pick him up and we'll butcher him outside. 
We might as well check through here. Alright boys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, but before we do, let me do a manual fight then. And then off camera, I do want to go through a little bit of this area here. But I'll do it off camera, because right now I'll probably get attacked over and over by bees, so that's gonna take a long time. So, let's do at least one fight to test out the rocket. And... Giant bees. Attack. Okay, so... I guess we'll do... You go through armor, so we'll use you instead. And some grenades. I'd rather have... Yeah, I guess the grenades work. Sure. Okay, so the dangerous one here would be number three. That is the guy who needs to go down. A rocket does not reach him, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to wait. Nothing reaches. Unless I move, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, but you know what? That tree's in the way, so it'll probably block the shot, is what I'm thinking. And there's no way for me to get coverage back over here for defenses. And the last thing I want to do is have be so close to him. I'm going to move here and take care of the small boys first, and then we deal with that guy with the rocket launcher afterwards. Unfortunately, no way. I mean, I could rocket one of you. If I shot it here in the middle, I would hurt both of you, but it would not be max damage. So I want to get you guys together, but that's not going to happen. So let's just... Oh my god! One rocket alone destroys an entire bee. Now mind you, that was... The weaker one. Does it work on the bee soldier? I guess we'll find out. But, um, fairly good. Let's end the turn right over here. Oh, Wolf Boy's about to get shredded by that bee, too. Shredded. Oh! He actually survived the hit. How about that? Good job, boy. Um, I guess I'll have to kill you myself. Oh! Jeez Louise! So, rocket or, uh... Rocket launcher or 10... Um, sniper shots with the DP is enough to kill one of the spitter bees. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna move here so that when he's done killing my boy, we tear his ass apart. Oh, he got too close. Oh, he got too close. Now I can't. I should have stayed. Now I can't hit him with the rocket. Alright, whatever. Does this. It's not gonna bring you down because you have. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna bring you down. But. It takes care of your armor in one hit. You attack me for 98, and in the next turn, you essentially die. For 10 more shots. So, yeah, this is... The bees are no problem now with the rocket launcher, and especially at DP 27. It's fairly, fairly good. So, there's combat with the rocket launcher. We blew up a boy. Very good. I'm gonna do a little bit of off-camera farming here. It's gonna take me a while, but I think it's probably in my best to just look for some diesel here, and then we'll come back next episode... I guess where we have to go next? All the way back? Yes, all the way back. So we'll come back next episode and start here to do this quest, and if that's the end of the quest, I'm not sure where the game ends, but if that's it, then we'll maybe continue doing a bit more afterwards, we'll see. I'm not, I have to decide if I'm gonna do more after the quest is done, but um, we're towards the end for a fact. I will catch you next time.